Droids. Hello everybody, welcome back to Brainload, your source for brain downloadable tutorials. My name is Lewis and today I'm going to be showing you how to make time lapse videos from a set of images that you've captured. Uh, now instead of making three different tutorial videos for the three different programs, I'm going to compile all of them into one video and separate them into parts that you can navigate to through the annotations. Alright, first up is Virtual Dub. Now this is the first video editor that I use to edit my videos and it's free. Second up is Sony Movie Studio Platinum. This is the video editor that I use now and it only cost me about $50 when I ordered it from Amazon. Lastly is Coral Video Studio 16. This is the second video editor I used and it only cost me about $30 to download but I think I got a promotional discount for that so it may cost a little more. Now go ahead and pick the program that you want to see and I'll be waiting on the other side. Alright we are in virtual dub right now but before we do anything we need to take a look at the files. So I have all the files here in the explorer now and virtual dub requires that you have the same file name in my case it's screen underscore and you need to have a number with it uh, that's incremented by one uh, meaning that it goes from one to two to three to four it doesn't need to start with one it just needs to go up by one uh, if your images aren't like that then I suggest getting a uh, rename utility I use bulk rename utility uh, it's free and I'll put the link to that in the description but once you have all of that um, we can uh, safely close that and go back to virtual dub now the first thing we want to do is go to file and open video file and we're going to make sure we go to our folder that we have all of our images we're going to select the first one and we're going to make sure that automatically load link segments is selected and we're going to open now that's going to open this uh, video here and as you can see if we start playing it here I actually recorded this time lapse in the making of this video just so I have some images as you can see it's already playing now uh, one thing you may want to do first uh, in this case mine is fine but let's say you don't like the frame rate you don't like how fast the images are processing uh, in order to change the frame rate we got to go to video frame rate and uh, in this case our current frame rate right here that's playing right here is 10 frames per second if you want to change that if you want to make it faster then just increase that like let's say 20 if you want to make it slower you just decrease it like 5 but I'm going to keep it at 10 because I like it at 10 now the next thing you may want to do is add any audio to your video uh, it could be music, it could be sound effects, whatever. Um, in virtual dub, uh, you go to audio, and you go to audio from another file, and you navigate to whatever music you want to put in your video. Now another thing, uh, when you capture when you capture your images you may not like the size of your images you can do this in uh, virtual dub you can resize your video and you'll do this by going to video we're going to go to filters we're going to go to the add button here and we're going to navigate to the resize filter and then we're going to put ok and we're going to under new size here this is going to set the new size um, we you can manually like change it to uh, 720p, which is 1280 by 720, and that will resize the video. All right, now that we are happy with our video and we want to start uh, sharing it with our friends, uploading it to the web, um, we want to set a compression codec before um, so that it can compress our video so our video is not too big. Because if we render it right now. It's going to be really big, like a few gigabytes. Um, so in order to set a compression codec, uh, we're going to go to video, and we're going to go to compression, 
and we're going to select our um, codec to compress it. I use XVID. It's a pretty cool uh, codec. It's really popular and it gets the job done really well. I'll put a link to this codec in the description so you can download it for yourself. Alright, so in order to put this into a video file, uh, we're going to go to File and then we're going to put Save as AVI. I'm going to put this video somewhere you want it, name it whatever you want, and then click Save and it'll start rendering. Alright, and that's pretty much it. You can make your own time lapses and stop motions with Virtual Dub. It's a free program. I'll put the link to this program in the description. Alright, we are in Sony Movie Studio right now, and making a time lapse with this video editor is really fast and easy. And here's how you do it. So, the first thing you want to do before we do anything though is check our file names. So here's all the images that I want to use in my time lapse. Uh, we want to look at uh, the file name here. Mine is screen underscore and then some number. Uh, we want to make sure that all of these are the same except the number. And we also want to uh, make sure that the number is incremented by one each time. So as you can see, it goes from one to two to three to four. Um, now that we got those files taken care of. Uh, in Sony Movie Studio, we just go to Project, and then we go to Import Media, then we go to our folder, and then we select the first image, and then we make sure that the last image is where you want, which image you want to be the last in the video, and then right here we got to Open Sequence, and then uh, name your file, whatever, that's optional, and then click open. Now this is going to open up a dialog box here. You really only need to change one thing, and that's right here, the frame rate. This is how fast your time lapse is going to play, pretty much. The higher the number, the faster it's going to play. The slower the number, the slower it's going to play. I like putting my time lapses on 10, so we're going to do 10. Now that we have the imported media right here in our me uh, project media tab here, uh, we're going to drag it onto our timeline. And then so now if we play it, you can see that our time lapse is running at 10 frames per second. Alright, and you can add any uh, sound effects, any music, anything uh, with this program. Now, before we actually render it though, in time lapses, in uh, Sony Movie Studio and Sony Vegas, I believe, the program actually blends the frames together. So to avoid this, uh, you just right click on the media file here, and then go to switches here, and then do disable resample. And that will make it smooth, crisp, and uh, watchable. Now we're actually going to render the video. So we're going to go to project, we're going to do render as, and we're going to name our file and uh, select which, uh, which video type you want. I'll actually post my uh, 1080p and 720p render settings for uh, Sony Movie Studio in Vegas um, in the description. So just check that out if you want to want to get the best possible quality for the file size and then just hit render alright and that's pretty much all there is to it alright we are in Coral Video Studio Pro now this program is really user friendly in making time lapses and you'll see why in a minute so the first thing we want to do is actually add our images um, onto the timeline. We do that by going to the file menu here, going to insert media file to timeline, and then going to insert photo for time lapse stress slash strobe. Now we're actually going to navigate to our folder. I'm already in here. And the first thing we want to do is click the first image then we want to scroll all the way down to the last image we want to use hold down the shift key 
and then click it and this will select all of the images in this uh, range here and then we're going to click open all right then it'll pop this dialog box up um, in order to actually uh, affect the time of how long the video is going to go and how fast it's going to go we're actually going to uh, change this here so right here this means that um, for every frame it will take about a 30, 30th of a second now if we want to do like 10 frames per second which I really like for time lapses we're actually going to increase this to 3 that will be a 1 minute and uh, 6 seconds 14 minutes. if you don't really know you can just press play play around with the settings and then just press play and it will preview the um, settings that you set here so this is about 10 frames per second I really like this setting this speed here so after we're done with that we're just gonna click OK and then we have our time that's imported now you can add any music you can add any text whatever you want uh, but in order to actually render the video we're gonna go to share and we're gonna click on create video file and then I like uh, to put MPEG 4 and I'm going to go for the 1920 by 1080 and then we're going to name our file and uh, pick our location I'm going to put it in my videos folder here I'm going to click save and this will actually start rendering your time lapse video and that's pretty much all there is to this program Thank you all for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'll be sure to check them out. Now, if you want to check out a cool little utility that captures screenshots in time-lapse form on your computer, just click here. Or if you'd like to watch a time-lapse video that I created, just click here. But that's all for me, guys. I'll see you later.